Boiler ball. Boiler ball. Boiler ball. Boiler ball. Boiler ball. Boiler ball. Bo- You're not into that? I thought we could go for like one of those like Orlando magic, but come up with our own. No, because the magic tune is like kind of catching up. Be boiler ball would be mm. boiler. It has some. No, it has some like West Lafayette like tradition. Like boiler ball, boiler ball, heading down to Harry's chocolate shop. Boiler ball, boiler ball. <laughs> we love Gene, Katie, and Robbie Hummel. Boiler ball. Katie's here. Can you please Katie. keep it down? It's a little too loud. Boiler ball. We have the best decibels in all the land. Boiler ball. We got, <laughs> we're so stupid, man. Sometimes I just step back and I'm like, we are idiots. We're two of the, <laughs> we are two of the dumbest human beings on earth. It's true. It's a fact. Uh, what else is a fact is I'm excited for Purdue basketball this year. And uh, credit to Purdue's social media team, much like Illinois social media team, who we gave some praise to in the last video. Purdue is putting real clips up of their practices right now. We got two, I would say big clips yesterday, three clips technically, but two players were featured. Jakari Harris, some unedited Jakari Harris footage of him getting some buckets. And then uh, Miles Colvin as well, navigating a pick and roll, pull up jumper. Good stuff. Good, Good from a couple guys who are in line to be Purdue role players. Miles Colvin could maybe be more than that this year, but um Guys that I, I think are pretty unproven. You don't know what to expect, and they look the part offensively. What have you seen from these clips and Purdue practice intel in general? Uh, my one critical point here, uh, it's annoying me that Jacobson and Berg are both wearing 44. We got to change that. Not a fan of that. Does that uh, mean something, though? Who's going to be the person who comes out on top to be the starting center at 44 next to power forward number four? He so... Off. I I'm pretty sure this is the case, but the practice Jersey numbers there, I think they're just wearing old jerseys still. Cause uh, I think rally Burgess is wearing Mason Gillis's stuff. And Uh-oh. yeah. So I, I don't think any of that matters, but maybe there is like a psychological play for paint on like, we're going to make these two bigs wear this and no, they're competing for one spot and one spot only. Okay. I like that. No, but the, Jakari Harris, I'm, I'm like, I, obviously it's a, it's a unedited video of him. I like what I saw here um, because it was two different types of buckets. One was like a, a look. I'm not sure if the shot clock was about to go off maybe for the practice they were in. I'm not sure what they keep their shot clock at. Shout out to Brad Underwood. Uh, but like he hits a like a two dribble kind of breakdown step back top of the key. Not the biggest fan of the deep two, but a good shot given probably time of situation. Um, and then the next one is the classic Braden Smith coming off a of pick and roll. And it's like a, it's like I think it was like a, a horns like double screen at the top and then Jakari like kind of comes back around and replaces like where Braden came from and comes out shot ready and ready to hit shots and I don't think I've talked enough about the freshman like guards for Purdue it's kind of been Jacobson 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 um but I mean I feel like all the all the things we've heard like Jakari and CJ Cox have looked good and I think that film proves that. And Jakari's jumper looks good. It does look good. Both these guys look really good in the clips. Uh, I think I believe in Jakari. I think he's going to be the best uh, non-Daniel Jacobson freshman. Like, obviously, Jacobson is a big and Purdue bigs are kind of in their own category. But everybody else on the team is like, if you can play, you're going to play. And if you can't, it might take a couple years. To me, I, I believe Jakari can impact this team now more than any of the other freshmen can. I know people really like CJ Cox and it sounds like the early rumblings on him are great, but I would put my chips behind Jakari. If there's one guy who's going to earn some backup guard minutes on this team, I would like it to be Jakari. I think that's best for Purdue. And I think the footage we saw shows what he can do as a scorer. Miles Colvin. um, I I think that clip of the, just the Jakari and Colvin clips, the one that matters more to me is Colvin. Because I've never seen Colvin do what he did in that clip. I've never seen him put the ball in the deck. I've never seen him show some like pace navigation, right? Like he, he's kind of always been like a go, go, go guy. Either I'm flying to the rim and dunking or I'm shooting the ball right when I get it. This was like, oh, I'm going to catch the ball. I'm going to read the defense. I'm going to use the screener. I'm going to play at my pace. I'm going to slow this down. Oh, Cam Heidi did a good job. He cut me off. 
Let me just kind of take a little half as you step back and shoot over him. Swish. Like he, that that's real stuff. That's advanced stuff that we haven't seen from Colvin. And in general, I don't know how much we will see it when you're on a team with Braden Smith. Um, but at least in this clip, Braden was on his unit and it was kind of give the ball to Colvin, let him make a play. Maybe we'll see that be a part of the offense this year. Uh, with that said, Cam Heidi and Colvin, I'm sure are battling each other every day in practice. And that's great. I'm sure they're iron sharpening iron, getting better. I believe in both those guys a lot. I'm going to need Cam Heidi to step it up defensively though. We, <laughs> we, we can't be letting miles Colvin get the love on social media uh, he is not a guy who's supposed to be able to put the ball on the floor. No, your scout, my dog. I need you to be an impact defender, and you got cooked right there. He did a good job getting over the screen, though. Yeah, I just, I'm the, the, just a little mental note for me on like we're we're really high on Cam Heidi. We are really high on Cam Heidi. Also, Miles Colvin's wearing two different shoes. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> I know Payne hates that. Uh, I have three very quick takeaways, though, or two takeaways and a question for you to end on this. The the things that matter to me from these Purdue practice clips. Number one, Braden's beard looks incredible. He's got to keep it. He has to keep it, Cart. Yeah, I, I, I probably tend to agree with that. It looks so good. Number two, this one's the real important one to me. I stepped back from watching these. I probably watched each clip like 11 times. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I've realized mentally and emotionally how different Purdue's going to be next year. Yeah, they're just going to. I, 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 I know you bring it up a lot that Purdue like is always going to be big man oriented, and even if it's TKR or Jacobson, they're going to find a way to get to the big man. The, the the makeup of this team, given the guards and wings they have, I are does it not make sense just to ship more that way? It's just going to be so different. That's like, like, like how many times have we ever seen a pick and roll for a Purdue wing in the last two years? Like, it's not like they've been running a bunch of that for Fletcher or for Colvin or Heidi or anybody. Right. So, um, I don't know. I just, it, this is one of the first times it sunk in for me. Like, okay, Zach, he's gone. Purdue's still going to be good. They got talent everywhere, but oh my God, the experience of watching a Purdue game is going to be such a different feeling than it was the last three seasons you know so different in good way or different in bad way i'm gonna enjoy watching it more i think uh, i think I, I think i will too which feels weird saying i am gonna miss zach e a lot though like i i'm gonna miss watching him more than i think i will yeah i just i, I agree okay and my third question i have to do this every time we get practice footage from anyone uh do the teams mean anything because by by my eye here we have Braden Smith and Miles Colvin and then a bunch of guys I would consider role players. And then on the other team, we have Fletcher Lawyer matched up with Braden. I like that. Uh, Fletcher, Cam Heidi, Daniel Jacobson, and TKR together. That that feels four on two to me from the top six. Yeah, that screams that's the starting line. But, but like, oh, it's too lopsided. Let's throw, let's throw Braden on the other team. So I'm Braden one of the young guys. That feels here here's my four starters. Braden carry the other group. Yeah. Braden and Miles. Like Fletch gets point guard reps in practice, but then in reality it's Braden, Fletcher, Heidi, TKR, Jacobson. Yeah. That is like the fact that TKR and Jacobson are playing together instead of against each other feels ominous to me. I think they're gonna play TKR at the four. Yeah. Uh, last thing, Wilberg is a plotter. Okay, that's the video. Uh, I'm excited for Purdue this year. I really am. Car, you know what I love about you? That I'm handsome? You're reliable. I can count on you. You know, honestly, you remind me of Aaron Henry a little bit. Remember when, like, you know, their back was against the wall. Nothing was going right. And man just showed up every day. He didn't make excuses. There were no problems. There were just solutions. Sounds like me. That's you. 
And it also reminds me of Duncan Mechanical Solutions. Because if you're looking for quality furnace repair, look no further than the heating and air experts that you can trust. Comfort and quality are their standard. They're an HVAC company that serves Northeast Indiana and Southern Michigan. Whether it's heating and air conditioning, plumbing, kitchen and bath remodeling, or emergency services when you need them most, Duncan Mechanical Solutions has reliable service that you can count on. Cart, remember when your basement almost exploded? I remember when my basement almost exploded. I remember when my, my furnace itself was acting funny. I remember when my AC was acting funny. I wish I had Duncan in my back pocket. I wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, I mean, I've never been anywhere in northern Indiana or southern Michigan that hasn't been perfectly cool or perfectly warm, depending on when the day called for. And that's because of Duncan Mechanical Solutions. Uh, they are the presenting sponsor for the month of July. Shout out to Duncan Mechanical Solutions. Go to DuncanMechanicalSolutions.com to learn more.